I am going to now be bringing in our next speaker. Now, this person, I prayed. Like, I literally was in prayer. I was like, Lord, I need somebody to help me with community. I need me to help. I, somebody, I need help. But that's all my, I was like, Lord, I need help. I just was like crying out to the Father. I was like, I need help. I need help. I need help. Then tell me why God's so good. He just sent him in my email. I said, what? Next thing I know, I am being connected to a man that mastered Facebook marketing, mastered social media, is a master at making sure not only that you reach the people, you build the community at the same time. This man is a social media expert, a visual storyteller, a search engine optimizer, which is just a couple of the things that he goes by. He also considers himself a digital marketing consultant, passionate about increasing revenue and business goal via digital marketing methods, such as influencer marketing, recruiting campaigns, Facebook ad, and social media strategy. Y'all, I pray for this man. When I tell you, I said, I need somebody to help me. I keep growing stuff. It go too fast. I need some help. When I tell you, um, not only is he a blessing, but then his wife is going to be gracing the stage. So I want to introduce Rashad Davis to the stage to tell us about the power of Facebook marketing. Rashad, talk to us, man. Come on in the room. And you know, you know something? You have not because you ask not. So anybody that's listening to me as we wait on Rashad, start asking. Your phone will start to answer your questions. God will begin to send people to your email. Check your email. Check your DMs. Check stuff. This is the season of overflow. If you need help with anything, just ask. And you have not because you ask not. All right. I'm going to be just keying us in, keying us in, keying us in. You guys, when I started on my social media journey, um, I did not know everything about all that this stuff was created i just love using the internet like i'm an electrical engineer by trade i just like using social media like i like posting pictures of myself you know hashtag that but like i didn't really know it could be like a billion trillion dollar business one day i didn't know that the internet had that capacity and next thing you know we on Silicon Valley, they building apps over there. And next thing you know, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, Snapchat, Twitter. I'm like, what is going on? What is this? I just, my mind started just growing. I'm like, what is this going on? So I'm on everything. And I'm on TikTok. TikTok ain't really, it ain't really doing it. It ain't in my favor in this season. Sometimes you got to just, you know. You got to pray on your seasons with your sexology stuff. But Instagram was my first place that really started to grace me. Then it was Clubhouse. Can anybody say Clubhouse? Clubhouse in the chat. Clubhouse came and it's perfect, 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 perfect for my personality. Because all I like to do is talk all day. So whenever I was thinking like, Lord, I got these people. It's so many people. Lord, he just sent me people. I'm like, how do you manage it strategically? How do you learn how to get your impact to that income? How do you learn to build relationships digitally? I'm used to shaking hands with people in person. Every person that you've seen, I've either hugged them, I've talked to them, we've had coffee, we've gone to lunch. Relationship building, that's what I do. Network, baby. The plug, love the network. The next thing I know is like, we're all digital but you still want to have that same handshake. You still want to make people feel like it's you. I don't ever want to get so big, so mighty, so this, so that, to where it's just like Jasmine is just this person. And, uh, you know, she's just so big. You can't talk to her. Now, nah, you know, as long as y'all ain't trying to hurt me, I'm going to come to the store and we can talk. We're going to have some chicken dinners. We're going to do something together. Now, at the end of the day, we also have to get out of our shell. We no longer can just build brick and mortar businesses. We have to do both. And honestly, my highest recommendation is that you build your presence on social media first, and then you take all of that offline. You build your businesses, technology, social media first, 
and you take that offline. And the reason why is because you can get so strategic using Facebook. You can get so strategic using social media, whatever platform to target the people that you're called to serve. You all remember Javante, he talked about it. He said, I got some people that I'm called to serve. I ain't called to serve everybody. And guess what? Everybody don't use all these tools. You know how your mom and them over there at Facebook you know they over there, they tagging you and stuff saying, look at this, baby. You know on Instagram how your college friends and your homeboys from, from work, they all on Instagram. And next thing you know, on Twitter and TikTok, that's where the young folks at. They over here tweeting, they dancing, they pointing that stuff. You got to understand, where are these people located on social media? Because everybody got a phone. Can't nobody tell me they ain't got no smartphone no more. Not in 2021. Hello, my man, Rashad. I am so oh, happy. Man. That's what I'm talking about. Look, we're going to get this technology conversation on Facebook Marketing. <laughs> so Rashad, go ahead and take the stage, man. I already said it for you. Go ahead and knock out this house. Come on. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the introduction. Excited to be here. Definitely have been blessed by what has um, gone forth so far. I had a chance to uh, check out the last panel. That was a great panel. And um, this has been an awesome, awesome uh, conference so far. So I hope you guys have been blessed by it as much as I have. So I'm going to jump into Facebook, the power of Facebook marketing, the power of Facebook advertising. Some people may feel like Facebook is obsolete, it's old, it's irrelevant. We moved on to TikTok, we moved on to Instagram, we moved on to all these other platforms, but Facebook is absolutely still a platform to thrive on, incorporate um, inside of your business and capitalize on. You don't wanna miss any uh, opportunities that uh, Facebook offers. So we're gonna dig into why Facebook is important, and how to utilize those things so i hope we are ready if you are ready just jump in the chat box and tell me just type ready just say ready so we can go ahead and dig into this thing so i'm going to share my screen and i'm watching the chat so you guys can communicate with me we're going to make this interactive and exciting um and i'm of course going to uh let's see let's see if i can share this screen power facebook that's right that's right Let's see, we're gonna share a tab, there it is. Guys, let me know if it is working, if you can see, and I don't know if I'll be able to see the chat while I, uh, while I present, but we're going to dive into this thing. The power of Facebook market. How are you guys enjoying the conference so far? If it's good, type that it was good. It's been good. It's been fire. Let me know. All right, here we go. So we're going to welcome. We're going to welcome you. All right. First, I want to say congratulations to everyone that is here because guess what? You came, you saw, and you conquered. You made it, you've made it this far. You have taken a leap of faith in your business. You have taken a chance. You have taken a chance on yourself. You believe in yourself and you believe on the God in, on the inside of you. So I just want to applaud you guys and say congratulations. And guess what? You've um, invested in something that will build and develop you and help you evolve as a business owner and as a faith walker. So I just want to commend you and say congratulations. And guess what? You're part of a special family. You already know you're part of a royal family. But guess what? You're a part of a faith walking family, individuals who actually believe themselves in themselves, believe in the God that's on the inside of them believe in the gifts that are on the inside of them and they are putting it to work you know a lot of people have dreams have visions you know and have desires but are afraid to actually put it into work and believe that god will show up for them so you're part of a special family so i want you to pat yourself on the back right now pat yourself on the back right now applaud yourself because you're walking towards what god says is already yours and people may overlook like that thing like it's small and minor but it's huge to actually do that that's a god thing that you're doing and i want to say thank you to jasmine for investing her blood sweat and tears into this platform and everything that she has going right now because guess what she's bringing those like-minded kingdom individuals together 
And you know what two or more are gathered in his name. He is in the midst. So we just thank God for him being in this presence on this event right now. Amen. Amen. We ain't going to get into too much preaching, you know, but right now, uh, just to reintroduce myself, my name is Rashad Davis and I'm a digital marketing manager and consultant. So basically I have 15 years of marketing, uh, professional background. I feel like I've been marketing my entire life, you know, because I've been in it since high school, just marketing different platforms and different things. And I've been on the social media my entire life, but professionally, 15 years, 10 year business owner, um, and six years with a focus on social media marketing, social media marketing. I started with like grassroot marketing, passing out flyers and doing networking and hand to hand. And now it has transitioned to uh, a sole focus on social media marketing. So, um, and five years of Facebook ads experience. So I've been, um, gaining my experience with the focus on social media ads. So my vision statement for T86 marketing, it is to build awareness enrollment and donors for education system with the purpose of building our youth for a better tomorrow and the mission statement is to be the most trusted social media agency in the field of education across the world so our focus is in education we also help startups you know but our focus is education systems because we have a focus on building our youth i remember i heard on the last session they talked about what keeps you up at night and definitely for me is building our youth for a better tomorrow that is my heart's passion my wife and i we have a ministry and that's where we're focused and um i want to uh just stress the importance guys of a vision statement and mission statement the vision is just the ultimate bit vision for your business you want to have these things the ultimate vision that you have for your business where do you want to see that business go ultimately when you are retiring, what do you want to uh, be said about your business? And the mission is basically how you get there, the route you're gonna take. And we're gonna get there by being the most trusted. If everybody trusts us to get their goals accomplished, that means they're gonna come to us and then we're gonna build and accomplish those goals that we, uh, we have for them. So you definitely wanna create those things. So this is some work that we've done. So um, we specialize in the area of uh, growth hacking. That's basically how to grow and get that awareness and uh, grow rapidly on social media. And these are two accounts that we have uh, worked with in the past. Um, on the left, you have a uh, charter school based here in Atlanta who uh, their exposure was just at about uh, just over a thousand likes when we uh, began working with them. And we grew them to 15,000 likes just in a matter of months. And they uh, met back to back enrollment goals. So we're actually putting butts in seats, you know. So we're not one of those agencies that just gets you the numbers for the look of looking cool, being cool. But we are uh, results driven. We're results driven and we want to get butts in seats. We want to get individuals into your. Uh, programs into your uh, service and selling items and those things. So this is one example of individuals that we work with. And on the right, we have a photographer, Atlanta-based uh, photographer, who grew from just over 2,000 followers to uh, 40,000 followers, uh, over 40,000 followers. So, uh, and he just grew to be a well-known Atlanta ph photographer, celebrity photographer, you know, just doing some awesome, awesome things, won awards here and got a lot of recognition, you know, along the way. And of course, built up his client base. So those are two clients, just two snapshots. These are two other um, reviews that we have. One On the left, we have a um, an accountant who uh, saw up to between one and three new clients each week. You know, so uh, she's an accountant and she's getting people in her business on a weekly basis. And she says the social media package is worth every penny, you know, so it's real followers and then it becomes real customers and real clients. And on the right, we have a life coach and minister, pastor, uh, Kimberly Jones, who uh, was very excited. She grew and had she's had t television appearances. She's had overseas uh, events and revivals and just things and awesome opportunities that have uh, become available for her. She's actually a current client as well, you know, and um, offering her course and, and, and we manage her community. And that's something that I'm gonna touch on a little bit later. So um, great things that are being said. So I wanna find out and I wanna see if I can look, see in the chat. I do wanna see if I'm able to, um, 
find out who we have in the building. Who's in the building? I want to know if you if you could share your industry. If you could share your industry and um, what it is that you do. I want to know if we have anybody, any coaches in the building, any trainers, consulting. Okay, I love it. I love it. I want to find out what your industry is because when I'm going through these things, I want to apply the knowledge to your specific uh, arena, your specific uh, industry. And also, uh, as you do that, I want you to also think about um, your uh, familiarity with Facebook ads. How knowledgeable are you with Facebook ads? One, I know for the one, if you uh, know for Facebook ads and you use them, you know, or two, if you know Facebook ads, but you say, well, you know what, that's not my industry, that's not my ministry, or I know nothing about Facebook ads. So I want to know how familiar are you with Facebook ads along with your industry? So we have consulting. We have products, we have event planning, and we have a tool. Somebody says, look, I know about it. It's cool. I know the power of it, but look, I don't want to get into any of that. But what I want to do today is kind of alleviate some of the overwhelm, some of the confusion, or the myths that you may have about Facebook ads, because we're going to dig a little deep into it. I only have 30 minutes, so we won't get too deep, but you're absolutely going to know about Facebook ads and how to use them inside of your business. So we're gonna talk about the definition of it and why you should use it. So Facebook ads allows you to target audiences through self-serve tools, and it gives them analytic reports that track the performance of each ad. The reach and visibility can help, help level the playing field for an independent business that wants to compete with the companies with much larger budgets. So if you say the big boys are out here and they can get all the uh, promo material, all the paraphernalia, all the merchandise and all these things, and they can buy a huge billboard on the side of the interstate and all of those things, and you say, how can I compete with that? Facebook ads is the way for you to compete with that. You have billions of people that are on Facebook consistently, daily, who are on Facebook, and you can go right into their timeline with these Facebook ads, and it doesn't take a huge investment. So we're going to talk about what are they not, a get-rich-quick process. You're not going to get rich off of uh, Facebook ads. It's not going to be something that you start the day and next week you, you're sold out and it's it's going crazy and all these things. It's a learning curve. And um, another thing that it is not is an expensive tool. People think that you have to invest $1,000 a day to be effective on, in, in Facebook ads, but that's not true. Um, and it's not ineffective. You, you believe that they, they don't work anymore or it's irrelevant. But guess what? Facebook owns Instagram. So if you are creating Facebook ads, your ads will serve on Instagram, where, where a lot of people are, where you feel like your audience may be, the younger crowd is, all those things. So you will serve your ads to Facebook as well as Instagram. Or if you want, you could just serve it strictly to Instagram. So don't believe that it's a get rich uh, quick process. Don't believe that it's expensive. You could start at $5 a day, you know, um, or less. And don't believe that it is ineffective. Don't let anybody tell you don't waste your time on Facebook ads because they do not work. That is a lie. That is not true. Okay? So, and I'm going to show you some examples of how it works. These are current clients. So we have on the left here, this is an individual, uh, and she is a makeup artist slash, um, what do you call it? Micro shading. She's a micro shading artist. So basically, she grew her, and this is an old snapshot. When we began, she was just over 3,000, and now she's at about 6,000, and we've had her for a few months now. And um, you can see how her following grew and her engagement grew as well. But you also can look on the right here and see a snapshot of income, revenue. That she had a $10,000 month in the month of June last year, $10,000 month. So, um, and that's a drastic increase of what she experienced before. And that's largely due, if you see in the second row, that's the service that we market for her, the $5,000 uh, item. So she offers other services, but that $5,000 item is the, the main thing that we offer. So half of that it, revenue for that month came from the uh, Facebook ad. So people are seeing it, people are clicking it, and um, people are purchasing. So it actually works. 
And also, um, this is another uh, client who saw growth in their YouTube channel. You can absolutely, uh, and email subscribers, you can absolutely advertise whatever it is that you want to through Facebook ads. It doesn't have to be just click and go and buy something. It could be subscribe to my email newsletter and I'm going to nurture you and grow you until you uh, are ready to purchase my, my course, are ready to purchase my service. So um, she saw a growth of 77 subscribers. That's a 23% uh, increase on uh in email she also saw youtube subscribers that grew you know from here from 3364 to 410 so she grew there as well as views you see in the middle there she had 32 views on uh a video and then uh another after some facebook ads she grew to over a thousand views on um a video so you can market the video you can market your your email newsletter you can market your youtube channel so you can absolutely advertise for whatever it is that you would like to grow and see growth in those areas. So these are the items you need to start. You asking, when can I start? How can I start? What you need to start is time. First, you need to learn. It's a learning curve. It's not a lot of uh, time that you need, but you at least, need, at least need to invest some time into learning what this thing is and how can I use it for my business. You need a budget. As I said, you do not need a large budget, but you want to invest between, I typically suggest my um, clients to start between five and 10 bucks. If you can start more, you can start with $25 a day. But if you can start with about $5 a day, and we typically monitor, uh, I monitor ads each and every day to see how they're performing, but you give it seven days to get some legs up under a certain ad, a particular ad that you create. And of course, we're at the Walk by Faith conference. Of course, you need faith. You need faith to believe that I'm making a smart decision. I can take this risk. I can take a chance to step out on faith and do something that is different from what I'm um, accustomed to doing. And so I can see some different results. So you need faith to do this thing. And of course, your to-do list will be to research. First, you want to research. Facebook ads are very public are very public. You can go to your competitor's page on Facebook, their Facebook business page, and see what ads they're running, if they're running ads. There's an area on the page that'll tell you, it's called the transparency, Facebook transparency. You'll sit on their page, you'll see when their page was started. You'll see um, if they're running ads. You'll see what ads they're running. You know, you can see all those things and get information and, and knowledge on um, where to start, get ideas you know, and uh, make it your own. So you want to create your own Facebook page. You want to create your Facebook pixel. You want to install the pixel into uh, your website. Then you want to start by creating audiences and creating your ad. So we're going to jump a little bit into uh, what each of those things are. First, there's your Facebook pixel. The pixel is a code, basically is a code that you or your web designer will place into your website. This is the place where you're going to send um, individuals, are you going to attach it to your uh, email platform, wherever you're going to send individuals. But you want to be able to track what people are doing when they click your ad. So if they click your ad, they go to your website, wherever they go, and they uh, browse, they click the social media, they click for directions, or they click purchase. You want to be able to track what those actions are that they're taking. Therefore, when they click purchase, you can create an audience of those individuals who click purchase because, of course, they are the most interested individuals. So you can retarget them with a new ad. So they bought one item, one service. Let's send them another service, see if they buy again. You can also create an audience that looks like them, that has similarities as them because you want to duplicate and scale that individual, that one person that bought that thing. You want a thousand of them. You want a million of them. So I want to create an audience of individuals that have similarities with them so I can retarget them and try to duplicate that process. So that's what the Facebook pixel allows you to do. So you create that. Then you create audiences. You all already have audiences. If, you're, if you have a Facebook page, if you have an Instagram page, you have people that are interacting with that page. Now you need to have an Instagram business page in order to track who's interacting with your page. Because what it does is you can jump into Facebook, create an audience. And guys, I have a video that walks you through all of these things that I'm gonna share with you. So if it seems to be a lot, don't worry. I'm gonna share this video with you. 
So you can create an audience of everybody that has interacted with you as far back as a year ago. So everybody who has liked the picture, saved the post, commented, clicked anything on your business page, whether on Facebook or Instagram, this allows you to group them into an audience so you can serve them your ad, okay? And then of course you can create a similar audience, a lookalike of, of, of individuals who are similar to those individuals, those users. So that's the custom audience and the lookalike audience. Now, and the last thing is, you create the ad. So when you're creating the ad, you wanna ask yourself a few questions. What is the objective? What do I really want them to do? What do I need them to do? Do I wanna send them into my email uh, newsletter, my email uh, newsletter, or do I want to send them to my YouTube? Do I need to get my views up? Do I need to get my sus subscribers up, planning for something that's coming ahead? Or do I really want this? just send them to the website and see what happens, get them to sign up, get them to buy? Those are the things. What's your objective? Then the who. You really want to get hyper-focused on who your ideal client is. If you can envision exactly what that person looks like, what their dem demographics are, what their income level is, what their family size is, and you can do this by analyzing some previous clients, or you can do this by researching you know, who are on the pages of some of your competitors, who are interacting, who bought tickets to this certain conference you know, and um, just creating and putting together your ideal client, your buyer persona. So once you identify that, you get all those characteristics because your Facebook ad can hyper focus on those individuals and show up on that timeline. And then you want to talk about the where. Where will you be most effective? What platform? Like I said earlier, you may just want to be on Instagram, depending on what your goal is. You may want to get more exposure to your Instagram page. You may want to get more exposure to uh, an IGTV episode that you're doing. So you want to do just Instagram or you want to do Facebook and both or both. And then there's the what. What would you like them to see and what action should they take? So you want to create the best visual, something engaging, something uh, compelling that um, will pull individuals in and get them to click, take the action that you would like them to take. So those are the questions that you want to ask with um, uh, creating your first ad. So now I have this link that I wanna share with you guys. Let me jump over and see if there's any questions so far. Okay, all right, Q, let me check the Q&A. I have this link that I'm gonna share with you guys. And um, this, you can, I'm gonna share this in the chat. Let's see. I'm gonna share this in the chat. And what you can do is check out this video. You'll subscribe to this, check out this video, and um, you can uh, view my full video that talks about creating your first ad. It'll basically walk you through each one of these steps and tell you how to create your first ad. And if you would like to speak with me directly and find out how to actually um, scale your ads. If you're running ads right now, you want to talk about scaling, then you can absolutely uh, reach out to me and um, find out how to scale your ads. Now, I want to see if we have any questions. I know we have individuals in here that are in consulting, selling products, and event planning. So if you have any questions, definitely shoot me a question, shoot it, add it in the chat, and we can talk about it. Now, when it comes to consulting, that's definitely one thing that I do. You want to um, create an ad that basically will start to uh, uh, ask questions, ask questions, give individuals. What I do is um, create an ad that can get individuals on the phone with you, you know, uh, get them to where they can book a free consultation with you, a, a discovery call, and they can, you can walk them through what a consulting um, an agreement or a consulting program would look like with you and answer some of their questions one-on-one. -on -one and um, basically you can sign them up on a sales call, you know? So that's one of the things. And um, uh, I was speaking with Jazz the other day and um, another great idea is to even have a weekly webinar so you won't have to do as many one-on-one -on -one calls. I like the one-on-one -on -one call because it's personable and it's private and people can make a decision because you're speaking one-on-one -on -one with those individuals. But um, also that can be time consuming as a business owner. So I do understand that. So to redeem some of our time, you can do a weekly webinar where you speak to individuals and invite them to this webinar and you can get uh, 
knock out all, all those birds with one stone, you know, um, and speak with everyone and get them to sign up. So that's one awesome thing. Uh, when it comes to product, uh, I've spoke about a client that I had earlier where uh, she's selling and, and um, uh, seeing some great growth in her uh, product. So basically you can send to a landing page. You can create your ad and send those individuals to a landing page and you'll see growth. Now, I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about community. Community is another thing that we focus on with uh, the T86 marketing. Let me stop sharing my screen. So that's another great uh, concept that Facebook allows. So you know uh, a lot of individuals are already on Facebook. They're already there. They spend a lot of time, a lot of time there each day. So basically community, a community would be great to create and you could use Facebook ads with this because you can um, create a curated group of individuals that um, you can use for a focus group. We have uh, influencers who uh, have a, a private group of individuals, it's free. And basically what they do is they ask questions. They have a, a, a podcast and they ask questions from their most engaged individuals and they take the intel and the feedback that they get from there and then they go address it on the podcast so they can hear directly from the people some of the topics that they wanna talk about. Another aspect is if you have a course, if you have a, 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 a course that you're a program that you're offering and you're signing individuals up, what they what uh, experts are doing now is adding an, an added experience to going through the course. So instead of just going through the curriculum, um, watching some pre-recorded videos, guess what? You get an added uh, experience of being added into this private Facebook group of all the students, and you're basically uh, a part of a cohort. You're a part of a group of individuals that are together who can go through this experience together. So we're learning the information, we're interacting with each other, we're networking, we're celebrating and encouraging one another. We're making friends, we're making new connections. And what this does is it allows people to, uh, you can raise your price point because it's not just a course anymore, it's an experience as well. And you're inside of this group as well. You can go in there and like posts, you can go in there and comment on things. So it's an added experience as well as um, it gives them the connectivity to want to stay connected to your business. So when the course is over, you can add a, an additional product so where they can stay and get extra additional support and you can continue to serve them. Is there any type of business that wouldn't benefit from Facebook ads? Of course, there, I mean, um, I can't think of any business offhand, but of course, every it's not a one size fits all you know in every situation you're going to have exceptions so there are some exceptions to the rule um but i really can't think of any off the top of my mind i guess i would have to see and think about the actual business to see if um it would be beneficial um for you to capitalize through facebook ads now i mean if you have i mean i've seen pest control i've seen all kinds of businesses that are on social media so i really can't think of any off the top of my mind that would not benefit from um, Facebook ads. I guess I would need to know, like, if you have a specific business that you have in mind that you would like to know would uh, could benefit. But event planning, absolutely. It can absolutely uh, benefit from just building up your exposure of your Instagram page to building your email newsletter to send out um updates and prom promotions that you have going on with your business you can absolutely benefit from event planning so that sums up what i'm able to do within my 30 minute time slot as and i you said did. I, <laughs> did I wanted to go job. through it as quick as possible you did a great job rashad now y'all see you have not because your ass now and not prayed i used to be like lord i need somebody to help me take the ads my ass don't never leave facebook to go to instagram what's the problem why my phone don't work why my account don't work and so you have not because you ask not and you guys Every single one of you all, if you have a business, could benefit from even scheduling a call with Rashad. Even just saying, I need to know this brother. He out there in ATL. Him and his wife are powerhouses. And I just think y'all all would benefit from following them. He's a man of God. His wife is a woman of God. It's just amazing. His wife is going to tear the house down tomorrow. So as the keynote speaker. So Rashad, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for helping me with all of the things that you helped me with, like 
I am benefiting from T86 Marketing. Thank you for having me. It's definitely been a pleasure. Thank you.